Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Danish and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel, hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. The Iraqi banking sector has been undergoing a significant transformation, and the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has played a crucial role in driving these changes. Recently, the CBI announced that it has completed the first phase of its banking reform process, a move that has captured the attention of both local and international observers. But what does this mean for everyday Iraqis, investors, and the broader economy? More importantly, why should you care about these reforms? The answers lie in the profound impact these changes can have on the country's financial infrastructure, economic growth, and the day-to-day -day lives of Iraqi citizens. Banking reforms are not just bureaucratic processes so they are foundational to the health of any economy. A well-regulated and transparent banking system is essential for building public trust. When people trust their banks, they are more likely to save their money in accounts, apply for loans, and invest in businesses. In turn, this creates a ripple effect that stimulates economic growth. A secure and stable banking system attracts foreign investment, encourages entrepreneurship, and provides businesses with the capital they need to expand, creating jobs and improving overall living standards. So, what exactly has the Central Bank of Iraq been working on, and how will it impact the average person? Phase 1 of the CBI's banking reform process focused on several key areas, all of which are aimed at ensuring that the country's banking sector is safe, transparent, and efficient. The first area of focus was the improvement of banking regulations. These new regulations are designed to ensure that banks operate safely and soundly, protecting depositors from potential financial losses. This means that when you put your money in an Iraqi bank, you can feel more confident that it's in safe hands. In addition to strengthening regulations, the CBI has been working hard to increase transparency in the banking system. Transparency is essential because it builds trust between banks, their customers, and regulators. When banks are required to provide accurate, clear, and timely information, it allows consumers to make informed decisions about where to deposit their money, how much to save, and when to take out loans. This increased transparency is not just beneficial to customers so it also helps regulators ensure that banks are following the rules, operating fairly, and not engaging in risky or unethical practices. Another critical component of phase one has been the modernization of banking technology. In today's digital age, technology is the backbone of any successful banking system. By pushing for the adoption of modern technological systems, the CBI aims to make banking more efficient, secure, and accessible to everyone. This modernization is not just about convenience, although faster transactions and easier access to accounts are definite perks. It's also about ensuring that banks can protect the financial information of their customers a crucial factor in today's world where cyber threats are constantly evolving. One of the most exciting aspects of the CBI's reform efforts is how it has partnered with various stakeholders to make these changes possible. The CBI has been working closely with local banks, international organizations, and the Iraqi government to implement the reforms effectively. One key partnership has been with international banks whose expertise has been invaluable in helping local Iraqi banks align with global standards. These partnerships not only speed up the reform process but also ensure that Iraq's banking system can compete on a global scale, attracting foreign investors and facilitating international trade. The results of phase one have been encouraging. Many banks have reported improvements in their operations, from shorter wait times for customers to more efficient loan processing. Customers, too, are starting to notice the difference. 
with easier access to funds and faster services, the daily experience of interacting with banks is improving. While these are early signs of success, the reforms are far from complete. The CBI has laid out additional phases for the future, each building on the achievements of the previous one. As we move into phase two, the focus will shift to enhancing the quality of customer service. The CBI recognizes that banking is not just about transactions it's also about building relationships with customers. By training bank staff to be more responsive, knowledgeable, and helpful, the aim is to make banking a more pleasant and accessible experience for everyone. Beyond improving customer service, Phase 2 will also emphasize financial literacy. The CBI understands that informed customers are empowered customers. When people have a better understanding of how banking products work or whether it's savings accounts, loans, or investment options or they can make more informed decisions that benefit their financial well-being. The potential outcomes of these reforms are promising. If the CBI's plans continue to succeed, Iraq could see a much more resilient banking sector. This would mean more investment opportunities for businesses, easier access to credit for entrepreneurs, and an overall healthier economic environment. A stable and well-functioning banking system could help boost employment by supporting businesses that create jobs, leading to broader economic growth. It's important to remember that meaningful reforms take time. The process of transforming a banking system is not an overnight task. As the CBI continues to roll out its reforms, it will be crucial for the public to remain informed about the changes and their impact. The CBI has committed to keeping the public updated on its progress, which is vital for maintaining transparency and accountability. The Central Bank of Iraq's ongoing banking reforms are a pivotal development for the country's economy. These changes promise to create a more stable, transparent, and efficient banking environment that will benefit every in the year from individual depositors to large corporations. While there is still much work to be done, the progress made so far is an encouraging sign of the positive changes to come.